So over here you can see that I have opened up the calendar and if I were to double click on this particular event then you can see that it says uh, start date and end date right here and this is in a particular uh, date format that is the long date format. If you want to go ahead and change that, then what you can simply do is you can go around over here onto, let's say, tools right here. Then you can go ahead onto settings. And then what you can simply go ahead and do is change the date format to short date format. And if I were to go around onto calendar and double click, now you can see the short date format right here, just like this. Similarly, I can go around over here and you can see that I am in a certain time zone. Right now, certain time zone is already set and if you want to go ahead and change that, you can also set the time zone manually right here to certain countries, let's say for example right here. And then that particular time zone will be um, uh, will be set. So you can see that the event date is here. So if I were to go around and change this out into certain elements, uh, certain countries, then you can see that the time changes as well. So let me just go around and change this out into, let's say, for example, Pacific Saipan right here. And you can see that the event timing changes out to match the timing of that particular time zone right here, just like this. So that is how you can go ahead and set out the calendar time zone and change the date text format that is displayed in events inside of Thunderbird. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.